Flipping Excursion. We're back on Flipping Excursions today. Um, we managed to sell the Red Eye Beef that literally went within the week of um, that video. And um, we've actually bought two new cars now. And it's a bit of a deja vu moment. I'll jump out and show you guys the car. Our first car to kick off Flipping Excursions. We've got another one. It's another C-Class. But this time we've got a C250 CDI. <laughs> take you around the car beautiful car it's actually pretty clean start from the back paintwork's in good order this back bumper does have um, some marks on it here um, but overall it's a pretty clean car have a bit of curbage on these wheels it's a completely straight car um, it's got full, almost Mercedes service history, seven stamps from dealers um, and the rest was specialist history. Um, I will check the mileage when I get into the car. It's my first time actually seeing the car. But overall, body condition looks really nice. It's a bit of a curved wheel there, but nonetheless, a little bit of a mark there. But, but it's a 59 plate car, so can't be can't everything. It is a blue efficiency model as well. Let's have a look at the interior. Complete deja vu. It's almost identical to the one we had. The 500 pound Merc. Uh, this isn't a 500 pound Merc though. This cost a lot more. Almost more than double. But oh wow, we've got heated seats in this. And we've got upgraded speakers. I think it's Harman Kardon speakers. And it's only done 110,000 miles. Um, I've got a book pack here. Got all the service history on it. Um, let's have a look, guys. Service and maintenance. Here we go. So let's have a look through this. So yeah. Well, this is towards the end. So the service book's got, got 82,000 miles there, Shabs Autos, 94,000, 99,000, and 105,000. Um, and it's literally serviced by a Merck specialist at 108,305 miles. And in 2023, it's had um, new pads all around and discs all around. Diff seal was sorted, fog lamp was replaced. Something about a PTS F harness, a DPF sensor, coolant was topped up, anti roll bar links, offside tyre was wrong rotation, so I'm guessing they fixed that as well. But yeah, the car comes with, um, it's got full service history, got more paperwork here, the MOT and stuff. But yeah, so it's got full Mercedes service history, 5th of January 2017. From 2010 to 2017, which is a 59 plate. So it's had seven main dealer service histories. It's been a well maintained car. Um, we picked this up for, I think just over 1200 pounds. Um, it had a DPF issue, so it needed regenerating. Needed a regen and um, we've managed to sort that out. We've had the DPF gutted and it's actually been mapped. And um, so the car's, fully running now it needed a starter motor which cost us 250 pound the dpf cost us 400 quid 650 pound in at the minute um and it had a bit of other work done um i didn't have it at the garage myself but it was done by someone else um but so we're about just under 1950 on the car um and the funny thing is we've actually got someone come all the way from Manchester. We've only advertised it this morning and they're coming from Manchester to purchase the vehicle today. But I'm going to take you on my first drive in this car because I haven't driven it before. Uh, I thought I'd show you guys what it drives like. It drives a lot smoother than the 500 pound Berk, I can tell you that. It's quite cold, I might as well put my heat seat on. It's driving nice and smooth. It's a nice smooth driving car. Honestly, it uh, seems a lot quieter than the one we had. 
and it's driving a lot more smoother. I would expect that with all the history. You know, knocks and bangs on our rotational test. Oh, it does feel a bit quicker than the C220. This is a C250, so it's a bit more powerful. It's a bit more newer because the C220 was a 2007, as they said, 2009 slash 10 on the 59 plate. But it's a it's a good looking car. It's a nice respect. We're gonna we've advertised it at 2,500 and. The chap has come from Manchester, and but we've agreed a price of £2,300. He's come on a train, so he, he is serious about buying the car because I'm sure he's not going to want to walk up. Well, not walk home, but catch a train back home. But yeah, the car feels nice. Nice and smooth. Just how you'd expect a C-Class to drive. Oh, look at that Evo. Beautiful. But I've come to my usual spot. I do my turning circle checks. Oh, this has got the nice to chime on the seatbelt. The old C class would beep at you like crazy. Yeah, no knocks there. Let's try it the other way around. No knocks there. No, oh, that's a lovely car. Yeah, guys, so um, hopefully the chap should be down soon and. Um, Hopefully we get this sold and onto the next flip. So there is another car which I'll show you guys, which we bought. Um, but I'll show you that in a in a few minutes, guys. But um, yeah, for now, this is the C250. So I'll catch you guys in a bit. Jeff, guys, MacBoo is on his way back. Um, so I'm picking up the potential customer to buy the car. Um, but I did tell you guys we've got two cars that we've bought. This is the second car. And uh, have a look, it's actually a really nice car. It's a Voxel Insignia SRI. It's missing the uh, front wedge at the front. Oh, and the grill's a little bit damaged, but it's, it's not a big thing. Um, hopefully we'll probably get a new grill for that. A little mark on the bumper here. Um, it's got the nice upgraded wheels on it, it's got the full SRI pack, so they are a bit curbed. But overall, the bodywork looks pretty clean. This wheel is also curbed. But it's a good looking wheel, though. It's a really nice looking car, it's a lovely colour as well. It's a 1.6 diesel on a 65 plate. Um, it's automatic as well, it's quite good. ULES, so. Yeah, it's a good car, um, good economical family car, to be honest, it's a really nice car. The interior is absolutely clean, it's only done 95,000 miles, um, I don't have the key on me at the minute. Oh, there's the infamous Vauxhall badge. Well, yeah, it's a really nice car this is, it's actually really clean um, inside. If you refurb the wheels, get that front grille done, it's going to be a perfect car. And. Let's have a look at it. Fortunately, I don't have the keys and we're pretty much blocked in, but this is it. We've picked this up for a little under two and a half thousand pounds. Um, we've had to do a little bit of work on it. Um, we had a little issue with it and it had a little bit, uh, it had an oil leak. We've now managed to solve that issue at the cost of about 300 quid. So we're all in about 2,600 pounds in this one. And um, the cheapest on Auto Trader is 3,250 pounds, but it's got like 150,000 miles. This has only got 95,000 miles. It's got full history as well. Um, I can't show you the history of the one. I don't know if it's in the glove box, no. Um, but yeah, this will go on advertisement. Um, in a couple of days time once we sort the front grill out and yeah, this will be ready for sale and um, It's gonna be advertised at Give and take around the three thousand two hundred fifty pound mark Obviously you guys need to follow up Lux Auto House. That's where we sell these cars from and um, Yeah, I'll put the link in the bio um, for the Instagram page if you want to um, come and view this car or have a look at it and Contact Lux Autos, that's where you'll see all the cars available for sale um, currently. And yeah, this will be up on there soon. Um, so hopefully all that C-Class is going to be sold now. Um, in the meantime, we have actually 
managed to sell more cars. Um, we had, yeah, so guys, we had a um, Seat Leon 1.2 TSI, which we actually sold within 24 hours of advertising. And also on the same day, we bought a Honda Jazz 2000 as a template. Um, and they're both black cars, lovely cars. I couldn't even get a chance to get content on them, but we managed to sell both those cars within 24 hours of advertising, which has been crazy for us. And uh, yeah, man, it looks like we are starting to grow a little further with the car business. And um, we've got these two cars now. Hopefully C-Class is gone in the next one hour. And then we literally just have this um, insignia at the moment. And hopefully we're looking every day for new stock. And um, we're purchasing some more and taking you through the journey um, of our car sales and the growth of our business to hopefully getting our own car pitch or car unit where we will be able to do more content with not, uh, with our, not just sell cars but with our own cars where we're going to be doing projects and stuff so keep an eye out guys we're growing the channel man we're going to hopefully get there and um, yeah hopefully we do the sale on the C-Class hopefully I can take you through that sale journey um, and give you some content around selling the actual car and the hassle and yeah, the bits that you don't get to see what a car salesperson goes through selling a car because it sounds easy, but genuinely it's one of the hardest things because you get all types of customers, don't you? And they all come haggle you and point out every little mistake, but they don't realise these cars are not brand new and stuff like that. So, yeah, let's see. Hopefully, uh, MacBrew is picking them up soon and we can strike a deal with this chap. But, yeah, watch out. Yes guys, so Mac Brewer has now picked up the chap from the train station. He's looking around the car. Um, I did ask him if he wants to be on the film. Um, he didn't want to be on the film, so we've sort of left him out. But he's looking around the car. Hopefully he does a deal today. Or well, he's catching a train back, back to Manchester. But let's see if we can convince him uh, to come on camera towards the end of the video. We'll see how it goes, guys. Let's see what happens. Cost you 10, 50 quid on you just. Well, that's really you understand that you buy this. Yeah, I know, I know. That's I don't uh, really know. Yeah. Yeah, but 22 is a noise, brother. You need to let me know because. Final. Ah, uh, that's my final. <coughs> I told you this before, and, and you know this. I think. I've tried to explain to you the car as much as I can. No, I think. Everything we... that I know. I told you, coming part exchange. I drive a little bit Manchester and back. I think we had a. We had a good good like deed so far so if you're not willing to reduce anything then yeah it's up to you but then yeah let's then just buy it for 2200 but if you wanted to you could have them a favor i've already dropped i said 2300 remember on the phone you said 21 and i said i didn't want to say 22 but i said 22 you can't that's fine that's my final okay so yes no yes I'll do the deal, man. Okay. Deal is done now, brother. Yeah, Mac, another one leaves our uh, uh, home dealership. Thank you, brother. Thank you, bro. Bye -bye. Have a safe drive home. Bye bye. Another C class sold, Mac. Another one done, man. After what, done. half an hour of negotiations hour. over a tyre and all this and that? Yeah, three pound discount. Three pound discount, that's all right. Four. You can get himself a uh, burger meal, and it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> fill, fill himself up in it. That's it, man. The guy's funny though. He ain't got money for fuel. <laughs> He's making it all up, man. He just wanted that uh, five finger discount in it, but yeah. so he came I'm, with the Yaris money to buy a Mercedes. Buy a C class. Oh well. Oh well. At least it's uh, one off our list. Yeah. We can go and get another car soon now. Oh, yeah. Show them the uh, insignia. I'll show them the insignia. Seen the insignia. The insignia is very up for sale very soon. Yeah. He's doing some prep inside. Mm. I'll put the link for Luxwater House, so make sure you go follow that up, guys, and you'll see a description of the of the insignia. Yeah, hopefully, we're gonna have more small little cars. I'm trying to concentrate on the small little cars. Yeah. Because I feel like they're so 
so much good. They're easier to sell, aren't they? And they're, they're less risky for us because obviously. But it's a journey, innit? I'm that's starting it, with these little cars, so hopefully we'll get to the Lambo. Well, that's it. Hopefully we'll get a unit instead of the, the back of uh, the gate here. That's how everyone starts, innit? That's back it, of the man. Garden. Yeah, man. But yeah. But yeah, man. I'm just showing KB, we'll get KBT there. plates. Yeah, man. KBT, MacBT. I don't know if you can see it in the dark. But this is a uh, Mac Brewer's daily car. Lovely GTD. If you want to see some content on the GTD, maybe race it in the portion, and we'll see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> you never know. But, but yeah, yeah guys. Man, everyone take it easy, man. Hopefully, we see you in the next one. That's it, man. Flipping excursion. Over and out. Flipping excursion. excursion. excursion.